as a result of Typhoon Yolanda. We have uh, about 149 churches that were uh, damaged. We have about 35 that are destroyed. I'm three-quarter Filipino. I live in America, so the Philippines is really dear to my heart. And I, I, I felt I need to get to be there. I needed to help out as much as possible. Our missions pastor called me and said, have you heard about the typhoon in, in the Philippines? And he says, well, we need to set up some teams to go down there to help, you know, put some churches back together. God brought the team in here to help the church rise again from the devastation of uh, Typhoon Hayahan. Right now is uh, almost totally demolished. Uh, the rebuilding needs to be very strong and uh, very secure for future typhoons. It's built for a wind velocity of 300 miles per hour and a sanctuary that will be able to handle a, a, a large and growing congregation. Uh, we are waiting for delivery for 500 sacks of cement that we are using for the column. We've been digging a lot of uh, holes for columns so that way they can pour concrete and make a stable platform for the building. It will take four to five months to finish this church. We're all competing for the same limited supply of both steel and Portland cement and some of the skilled laborers are all busy tied up. Some of the people that go to this church, some of them are hired labor and some are actually volunteers coming from other churches. Marami pong taong nag-involve sa gawain na ito, hindi lang po dito sa main church namin, kundi sa, sa mga churches. God has given me the opportunity to come here and I just feel blessed to be here. For them to see us come in here and you know, dig in the mud with them and, and work hard and sweat right next to them, that gains a little bit of trust. I think it's important that the, the community see the church being rebuilt because those who maybe be, are far from God or who don't know God, um, they're going to have a lot more questions than answers. And this is the perfect place for them to come and get those answers. If there's a good, strong church and a good building, then they can be the distribution center for food. They can be the source of uh, counseling for uh, Filipinos that have lost family members. I mean, it's going to be a great resource for the community to rally around. The church is a community environment where people come together, wow. and it's a place for bonding and, uh, and teaching. They are expectant that after this rebuilding, more people will be added to the church. It's a win-win both for the local church and the missions team that comes to, to join us. Napakalayo po nila para tumulong sa amin. Kaya na-inspired kami at na-encourage kami na ma-build itong church na ito. It's very reciprocal. We come here and it's a blessing to them as I think even more blessing to, to, to me. The love that we show them is the love that Christ showed us. And we are very uh, thankful for their support and their, uh, even for their finances. And we are very grateful for that. The Christian community is a community. We're all working together as a family. and We need to all work together to, to just spread the gospel of Christ around the world. To come here and, and have the people just uh, grateful that you're here and happy, smiling. I mean, that smile says a thousand words. As a team, they're smiling, they're laughing, they're talking. They're very happy people. In the end, and when it's all finished and done and they have a building, oh, the pride to have a permanent worship center. God is a provider and God is able to do exceeding abundantly above that all we ask or think and really he's a good God. We really appreciate all your efforts. Your partnership with us really motivates us to build a more stable, beautiful and glorious house of God. Rebuilding together. Rebuilding together. Rebuilding together. Magtatayo ole. Rebuilding together. Rebuilding together. We are building together. Magtatayo ulit. <laughs>